All right, what's go, what's go, man? Let's get into it. So, as we come here this Friday, the Minnesota Timberwolves finally, thankfully, get a win, a must-win game at home, man, led by Mr. Anthony Edwards. Now, as I'm recording this, you know, it's fourth quarter, 259 left. Clearly, the Minnesota Timberwolves won, obviously. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know what I'm saying? They come out. Now, I had a feeling that they were going to, you know, win this game. I didn't want to call it because, you know, you never you never know with these NBA playoff games. But, you know, you know, Nicole Jokic having 22 points, uh, you know, Jamal Murray, 10. We're going to get into uh, Michael Porter Jr. because I have a lot to say about him. But Carl Anthony Towns with 10, uh, 13 rebounds. Rudy Gobert with his 14 rebounds. Uh, Anthony Edwards with 27 almost 30 points, you know what I'm saying? So they did their job. They did their job, you know what I'm saying? But uh, let's get into it. Ant-Man is back. Jordan Jr. is back. Everybody thought he was dead with his nine points. Listen, I'm going to keep it real with you. In game five, yeah, game five, he he low-key, you know, I'm not going to front. Anthony Edwards did choke. He did choke. But at the same time, he came out, balled out. He didn't put his head down. 27 points, almost 30 points. He took a mean bump, too. It was scary. This dude, uh, I, it was, uh, I think it was, was it Michael Porter Jr. who went under his legs and slammed him on the ground? You know, a lot of Timberwolves fans, they was they were scared. You know, they was looking like Bulls fans back in 2011 with Derrick Rose and get back up. You know what I'm saying? But uh, they the most high that Anthony Edwards is okay. He's doing his thing, came back, showed out, 27 points, got a must-win uh, game, win or go home, and he says, no, nah, we're going to win. We ain't going home. So, you know, it is what it is. Jock Gage with his 22 points, you know what I'm saying? Did he get a double-double again? Uh, the, almost a double-double, you know what I'm saying? But Jock Gage, you know, I don't want to say it's an off night for Jock because Jock Gage is more of a pass-first guy, but, you know, Jockeys, you got to dominate. If your guys are not hitting from the three, if they're not, you know, you know, doing their thing, you got to take over, Mr. MVP. I'm not blaming the Koyokis for this loss because, I mean, but, you know, you got this is the game you got to drop 40. This is the this is the game you got to drop 40 and just be a ball hole, be on your Kobe Bryant mama mentality stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to fully blame Jockeys for this game. But I want to talk about something. I want to talk about uh, Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert. First of all, Rudy Gobert, it's nice for you to actually – live up to your hype being a defensive player of the year. You know what I'm saying? You actually did something. You actually got blocks. You actually got putbacks. You actually got rebounds. You just didn't get a barbecue chicken by Nicole Jokic like you did last time. So it was actually nice to see him actually show up for once and actually help Ant and them boys. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about Carl Anthony Towns. Ant, I mean, not Ant. Uh, Cat, I don't know what you're doing, bro. I don't know what you're doing, but you got to score. Like I, You had 13 rebounds. I give you credit for that. But at the same time, bro, you are one of the power fours in the league who can shoot the three, who actually can drive, get a bucket, and you're not doing that. And in game seven in Denver, they're going to need that. That crowd rocking, Denver coming off this embarrassing loss, the NBA champions, their season on the line, they're going to need you to get 25 points, bro, 27 points. And it's going to need you out there. Rudy Gobert, we're going to need to see this defensive presence uh, in Denver, game seven. I give y'all credit. Y'all didn't die. Y'all, you know, win or go home. Y'all were home. Y'all got the job done. Y'all got the job done. Not even knocking y'all. Not even knocking y'all. But at the same time, Cat having, uh, as we sit here, the Timberwolves, Cat had 10 points. Unacceptable. 13 rebounds, cool. 10 points, unacceptable. Unacceptable. Rudy Gobert, you did your point. You did your thing. You neutralized Nicole Jokic to 22. Didn't stop them, got more rebounds uh, than him. You know, you did your thing, so I'm not really knocking it. But in Game 7, where it matters, that's when you got to do your thing. And this Game 7 is going to be amazing. Now, I want to talk about two things. Jamal Murray. Jamal. I get we have off nights here and there. You know what I'm saying? I get you have off nights. But you pick a Game 6 where you can get some rest. And that OKC series is going to keep going on. You couldn't get – you got 10 points, bro? You couldn't get you couldn't give the Koyokish 15? You couldn't give him 20? Mr. I like to win, uh, Mr. Canadian, Mr. I like to hit game winning shots. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? How can you not at least get 15 to 20 points? Bro, 
you are a borderline all-star. The reason why you don't make the all-star team is A, because you're inconsistent, and B, you like to stay getting injured. Bro, this is the game you had to show up. This is the game you had to show up, and you didn't. I'm not blaming you fully. The next person I'm about to get into, I'm I'm probably going to blame fully, but at the same time, Jamal, you I mean, Jamal, listen, you're at home. Uh, next game, game seven. It's on Sunday, a couple of days from now. You get a little rest, get to get shake off this loss, but no less than 25, Jamal. No less than 25. You, you, uh, you to uh, quote Kobe to Nicole Yoke's Shaq, uh, you need to show up. You need to show up. And let me get to him real quick. I want to, I'm not going to make a full video on Michael Porter Jr. because he's too irrelevant for me to make a video on him, but. Tim, uh, Nuggets, it might be time to move off of this bump. He is beyond horrible. He messes up the flow. He turns the ball over. He f- tries to force points. Michael Porter Jr. is like, if, if the Nuggets have a weakness, it's him. It's literally him. First of all, his family's dumb. If you know, you know. Second of all, like, just like, I'm watching this dude. He messes up the whole flow of the game. Turnovers, trying to score points, trying to get three-pointers, trying to be like Jamal Murray, but he's not. Trying to be like Kobe and shoot game winners, he's not. He did like this stupid floater that looked like the pass and turned the ball over. Even the Yokers was looking at him like he wanted to slap him upside his head. It might be time to get rid of Michael Porter Jr. and find another three because he ain't in. I get he's 6'9", whatever the case may be, but he is not it. I'm sorry. This dude messes up the flow so much, it's not even funny. And he's getting cooked on defense as well, too. And cooked him on defense. Cat cooked him on defense. Uh, who else? Nas Reed cooked him on defense. Mike Conley cooked him on defense. Everybody cooked him on defense. Hell, I might have cooked him on defense. Listen, man. It might be time to get rid of Michael Porter Jr. Like, Aaron Gordon fits in with the system. Jamal, Joker, KCP. All fit into the system. He doesn't. He's clearly trying to be like uh, Kobe, and he has to come to the realization, bro, you're not Kobe. You're not Kobe. Bro, you're not even Mike Conley. Sorry, bro. You're not even Jalen Brown. Dude, you are so bad, it's not even funny. It's not even funny. Like, it, like, irritates me how bad this guy is. Like, like you, you can't be serious with this bum. You can't be. Like... I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand it. This dude messes up the whole flow, the system. After this year, it might be time, big consideration, especially if you guys lose the finals, and especially if he's the main reason why you guys lose. It might be time to get rid of him. It might be time to get rid of Michael Porter Jr. No ifs ands buts about it. And you know, and he might be the reason why you lose Game Seven. That's what I'm saying, Jamal Murray. And uh, Nicole Jokic, y'all better be on your A game because you got this loser, this bum trying to be like Kobe out there. So y'all better ball out. But all in all, shout out to Ant for not buckling under pressure. Shout out to Ant, 27 points doing his thing. I'm looking at it now. This will be the this will be a played. This will be the second game seven the Timberwolves played in, only second time in history since Kevin Garnett. And if you want it, you gotta go get it done, bro. You got to go get it done, man. You know what I'm saying? If you want to beat the man, you got to beat the man. And at the same time, bro, you got to do your thing, bro. You got to do your thing. It's in Denver. You know, Denver's going to come out hot. You know, they're going to want their revenge. They're going to want, you know, to, you know, redeem this loss, especially since it was a blowout. It wasn't even close. And granted, you know, I was watching this game. Okay, Nuggets are going to probably gonna come back. Nuggets are probably going to come back and make it competitive. It didn't happen. Credit to the Timberwolves, you know, for locking down Nicole Jokic, Jamal, and letting Michael Porter be Michael Porter, the idiot clown that he is. But, you know, it is what it is, man. That's my thoughts. What are yours? What's your thoughts on this series? And here's a question. Do you think this is the best series throughout the whole playoffs? Because this is the only series, I think, that went seven as of right now. I don't think any – did any of the first-round game? None of the first rounders went to seven. I know the Knicks went six. No, none of them went to seven. This is the first series going to seven. Is this the best series in the playoffs right now? The most entertaining one, most competitive one. Are you enjoying it? And who do you guys got Sunday? Timberwolves or Nuggets? Who who are you rooting for Sunday? Timberwolves or Nuggets? And do you believe whoever wins this series is going to win the finals? That's my thoughts. What are yours? RJ out. Thank you.